welcome back to my channel and welcome to another fun exciting makeup hack that I have planned for you guys I don't know what took me so long to do this video because I am freaking obsessed with this hack and I really hope that this technique can help a lot of you guys because I know I'm not the only one with super thin super light eyebrows I do not have any makeup on my eyebrows whatsoever the only makeup that i have on them is concealer around them just to carve them out and just make them a little bit cleaner so before i move on i want to let you guys know that this video is going to be a collaboration with my babe my boyfriend axe machine i know that you guys are already familiar with him so we're going to be doing a collaboration where obviously i get to do the makeup side of things and he's going to get to do the same technique but he's going to be applying it on his beard and we're gonna see how it works out for him so if you guys want to go check out the video i will leave it down in the description box i know that on snapchat i go on there all the time without makeup and i have like zero eyebrows and it's a hot mess you guys will be able to see on the next clip when i start teaching you guys how to do it so don't judge me <laughs> so this is going to be the greatest feeling to be able to have these kind of brows for two weeks where i can go to sleep and wake up with perfect brows that is like freaking goals and it requires no pain whatsoever so the product that I'm going to be using is this mustache and beard hair dye I know that it's a little weird because it's meant for guys but it's not like you know women grow any facial hair so obviously it's for guys but I mean look at those brows <laughs> this right here cost me seven dollars at a local food store I know if you go to Walmart it would be a lot cheaper so I would recommend getting this at Walmart so this amazing technique was inspired by this gorgeous girl on Instagram her name is Haley Myers I'm so sorry my phone is blinding you with the lights are just so bright I saw her do this video on Instagram about a couple of months ago so it's been a while and I know I've been lagging to do it since we are tinting the brows and and the basically the skin is not going to be lasting permanently but it will be lasting at least two weeks I will keep you guys updated on my snapchat I will be posting how they look after I get out of the shower and maybe a week from now and then in two weeks how they're supposed to stay and without further ado if you guys want to know how to get these semi permanent fleeky brows just keep on watching okay guys so we're gonna get started and as you guys can tell these are my natural brows well I wouldn't even call them brows because it doesn't even look like I have any they're so fair and thin I don't tweeze them or wax them this thin I just when I was in middle school I basically took off all my eyebrows and they never grew back but this is what we're gonna be using today the shade that I got is dark brown I saw they had a medium brown but it looked too light and the purpose of this is for it to stain and tint my eyebrows so i thought this is the best color to go with since i'm blonde i don't want it to be extremely dark so i hope it isn't too dark but we will see what happens it comes with a little plastic container where you can mix the hair dye is it called hair dye or beard dye i don't know it comes with gloves <laughs> some instructions and the little brush which we will not need because we're not trying to do that you know and it comes with these two little tubes we're going to be mixing both and literally we're going to be mixing only just a little bit because we're going to be using basically none so this could be lasting you for a really really long time i didn't think it was going to come with a little container so this is perfect and I'm just going to be using a little bit of this. It, you don't need to use a lot. I promise you that. So just a little bit. We're going to have to use equal parts of each. And now I'm going to be using the developer. I don't know why I'm shaking. So to apply this, I'm going to be using the brush that I always use to do my eyebrows because I think this is going to be my safe zone and it's going to be able to apply exactly where I want it and how I want it. So I'm going to be mixing the little thingy with the brush okay guys so this is the color that it looks right after you're done mixing so if i were to apply this on my eyebrows directly right now it would obviously get darker on my eyebrows but i want to be able to see a guideline while i'm applying it because i don't want it to get all over the place and then not be where i want it to be so i'm gonna let it sit for a little bit while i clean off my eyebrows from any excess makeup and to do so i'm gonna be using the oil 
some oil. I'm going to be using alcohol and some Q-tips, but obviously if you guys are doing this with no makeup on, which you should be, but since, you know, I'm a little bit extra, I would obviously be using makeup during this process, but you still want to go in with alcohol and clean off all excess oil. That's going to help the hair dye be a little bit more intense and the oils can kind of make a barrier so it doesn't tint your skin and we do want it to tint our skin. So I'm going to be using some alcohol to rub it off. So I'm going to take my Q-tip and just go over my eyebrow to take all the makeup around it. Dang, I had a lot of makeup. Okay, so this is how it's looking now that I have wiped out my eyebrows. This is how it's looking. It's getting a little bit darker, so this is exactly what I want because I want to be able to see what I'm doing and this is going to give me a little guideline. So I'm going to be using the Morphe R45 brush. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit scared. So I'm going to start off by... I don't even know how I'm going to start off. <laughs> I'm like shaking. <laughs> I like to start by outlining the bottom of my eyebrow. Okay, I drink coffee and I'm like really jittery and feel like my hands like shaking. <laughs> so I like to start on half of my brow first. I don't like to bring in all the product into the front of the brow. So I like to start right here and then, oh God. When you start doing this, you really have to be patient and Take this really slow because you don't want to mess this up. So that's what I'm saying. Like coffee before this, not a good idea. After I do the bottom, I like to go in to the top and then outline the top how I like my eyebrows to be. Okay guys, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like you want to wait for it to get a little bit dark because it's so hard to see where you're working on. But as you guys can tell, it's already starting to get dark. So that's so cool. Oh my God. <gasps> Yay. Okay. I was a little bit skeptical, not going to lie. And this is coming out good. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, this is absolutely freaking amazing. Do you guys see the difference? Oh my god, and it's not even done yet. It hasn't even reached its full, like, potential of pigment. So, wow. <laughs> okay, so after I fill in my eyebrows towards the end of the brow, then I like to slowly work my way towards the beginning of the brow. Oh my god, no way. <gasps> As you guys can tell, in the beginning of my brow is very thin and I don't have a lot of hairs there. So I know for sure that when I wipe it off, this is not gonna stay square like that. So do not worry, because I know it's not gonna stay like that. And I think I got the perfect color too, like this is on point. So I guess all you have left to do is kinda go back in and retouch and see where you're missing a little bit of hair dye. So you guys know, normally when you do your eyebrows, you would go in with concealer and carve them out and clean them off. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be using a Q-tip, a little bit of alcohol, and I'm gonna start carving out the eyebrow. Kind of cleaning up everywhere that you messed up or that you need to sharpen up a little bit. This is so amazing. Oh my gosh. So as you guys can see right here, there's like a little empty weird spot. And maybe what happened there is that I had some oils. And you see what happens if you have oil on your eyebrows? It will not grab. I'm going to be applying a little bit of the hair dye without swiping it. I'm just going to be tapping and letting it sit there. And I know that this color right now, since I'm leaving it a little bit longer, it keeps getting darker and darker. But once you take it off, it's not going to stay that dark, I wish, but no. So now to the other side, this is the scary part where you have to get the other one even. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the other one. I cannot wait to see how bomb it's going to look when I take it off. And literally, I bought some black to make some hair strokes and I'm kind of like, uh, I don't think so because it looks extremely dark, but we will see at the end how it looks and if it needs it, we will go ahead and add it. But if not, I'm gonna keep it like this because this is like freaking goals. Now for the other eyebrow. You see how hard this is? Like once you first apply it, 
it's completely invisible like you can't even see it but then once you leave it it starts getting dark and dark and dark and you're like meh you really need to know like your eyebrow shape when you go into this because going in with like invisible paint <laughs> it is hard oh my god like i'm literally so happy with the outcome this eyebrow though it is so dark holy crap i really hope it doesn't stay this dark because i'm a freak okay so now before it completely dries i'm gonna go ahead and clean up the eyebrow with the q-tip I know I look like a complete weirdo with black eyebrows, green eyeshadow, and pink lips like I can. But I hope it looks cute after I take it off. So I'm just going to be wiping it here on camera so you guys can see how it's looking like while I'm taking it off. So I just have little pieces of cotton and I'm going to be dipping it in water and then just taking it off. Okay, so here we go. Ooh. Yes! Oh, oh, baby. <laughs> oh, oh my god. My goodness. <laughs> Are you kidding right now? I'm done. I can't. This is so awesome. Woo! Okay, so the whole product is completely off my eyebrow. And I am so obsessed with the way it looks and the eyebrows are not going to come off. It takes me like 50 minutes to fix my eyebrows before I even do my makeup. So this is going to be such a time saver. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this one off because it's been a while. You guys, so this is how it ended up looking like. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup because I know there's like a huge line here and in the center of my brow. So I will be back and I'll show you guys the end result and my final thoughts. Okay guys, I am back and this is how the brows look with a little bit of carving with a little bit of concealer. The concealer definitely made them look a little bit more clean and sharp and I am obsessed. I cannot believe how bomb and natural these eyebrows look. I was a little bit scared when I saw how black they were looking. I was like, oh, girl, hold on. <laughs> but they look great. I feel like this color is exactly the same color that I used as a pomade to do my eyebrows. I am so happy, and I don't know what took me so long to do this. Like, can you believe not having to do your eyebrows when you do your makeup? Like, that gets me so excited. So waking up and going to sleep with brows is going to be the freaking highlight of the day. I'm so glad that this hack technique... I'm so glad that this hack worked. You guys need to go watch my boyfriend's video. Don't forget to subscribe and show him some love. If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. Make sure to like this video. That helps me out so much for YouTube to kind of recommend my video and for people to see how to get these brows. <laughs> also, if you want to be more in contact with me, you can follow me on my social media. I have Snapchat. Instagram and now I have Twitter so I will leave that down in the description box. I want to thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys <laughs>